So guys, this is a question that I've been getting a lot on my channel recently. What is the difference between Club Penguin Online and Club Penguin Rewritten? What's up guys, my name is Gokan137 and welcome back to another Club Penguin Rewritten video. Before this video begins, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more CPR videos in the future. And guys, as a disclaimer, I'm going to go ahead and state this now. I do not recommend that you play Club Penguin online. I uploaded a statement about it this week. Go ahead and give it a watch if you haven't already. I go in depth about the allegations against the Club Penguin online team and why the game is not safe to play. I've noticed that a lot of you guys have been commenting stuff like, oh, this code didn't work or, oh, I can't find this room or, oh, I didn't find this catalog. And that's because there are two different Club Penguins out. So chances are you're probably looking at my Club Penguin rewritten videos and trying to apply them to Club Penguin online, but that doesn't work because there are two totally different games ran by totally different people. So you heard that right, guys. Let me just go ahead and clarify right off the bat. These are two separate games. Since Club Penguin shut down, two groups of people got together and decided to recreate it. The creators of Club Penguin rewritten went for a much more original and classic feel, whereas the creators of Copenguin Online went with a more modern, newer 2013 to 2017 era Copenguin feel. So guys, that is the key first difference. Copenguin rewritten is more of the old classic style, whereas CP Online has that newer Copenguin vibe. And I guess that brings me to my second difference. Copenguin Online, just based on its history, based on the team, based on the allegations, is not a safe game to play. I would not recommend that you play it. The team and the game has been going through a lot of turmoil lately, so I think it's in your best interest to stay out of the drama for your own safety and for your own sanity as well. CPR, on the other hand, in my opinion, is just managed super well. Everything is super professional and consistent across the board. Amazing game, hands down. And now let's delve into some more differences. And guys, because I don't want you to continue playing Copenguin Online, for the remainder of this video, I'll be comparing CPR to Modern Day Club Penguin. And Modern Day Club Penguin refers to the Club Penguin from the years 2013 to 2017. You know, that newer feel Club Penguin that CP Online runs on. But I don't want to make the direct comparison to CP Online because there are a bunch of newer and modern CPPSs out there. And I simply think CP Online is not the best option. So I don't want to encourage that you guys use that private server. But that brings me to my next point. So what are some of the key differences between CPR and newer modern Club Penguin? Well, first of all, the whole Puffle interface, the whole Puffle experience is completely different. As you can see, the art style is completely different. It has the old Puffle look. And then also when you click on your Puffle, it doesn't open up that full screen interface. Instead, you get this little Puffle card. There aren't any Puffle hats and your Puffle doesn't perform too many different actions. But overall, it's still pretty fun. You still have the health bars over here. You can still take care of your Puffle and you can still walk your pet across the island. And also along those lines, you aren't able to dig with your Puffle because that was a feature in newer Club Penguin. Now, I know you guys are probably asking, will Puffle digging come out someday? We don't know. CPR has really stuck to the old classic Club Penguin feel, which quite frankly, I really enjoy. I'm not too sure if they're going to switch out of it anytime soon. But guys, I'm curious. What do you guys think? Do you guys like old Club Penguin better, which is CPR? Or do you like the newer Club Penguin private servers and the newer feel of CP. And also another difference includes the map. The map on CPR is the old classical penguin map, but surprisingly this isn't even the oldest CP map that has existed. As you guys can see when Club Penguin was first released, the map looked even more different and to be honest it looked nothing like the Club Penguin Island. But on CPR for example you don't have the Puffle Wild, you don't have the pond, and you don't have a few other rooms. But that is not to say that CPR won't add more rooms in the future. It's highly likely that Club Penguin Rewritten will be adding its own custom rooms sometime down the line. And I'm saying this because they often throw their own custom events, their own custom catalogs, items, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them come out with their own custom room sometime soon. And also another key difference, which is probably the most obvious, is that all of the rooms have the old Club Penguin style. With New York Club Penguin, you have a totally different island. The buildings look different, the, the island looks different, it has a whole different feel to it. But if you walk around the CPR island, it really has that classic Club Penguin feel, which I really, really just admire. Now, of course, I'm guessing a lot of you guys have split opinions on this, depending on when you joined CP. Because I joined Club Penguin 10 whole years ago, I'm really used to this really classic feel. But if you joined Club Penguin later on in his later years, then of course, I understand why you might enjoy the new room designs a little bit more. Next up, we have the games. So CPR supports Karjitsu, but unfortunately, it does not have Karjitsu Water and Karjitsu Fire yet. <gasps> of course, the assumption is that CPR will follow the same sequence that the original Club Penguin did and will release Karjitsu Fire after the original Karjitsu and then Karjitsu Water even further down the line. Of course, we don't really have time estimates about when these will come out, but hopefully it will be sometime soon later this year. Another difference between CPR and most other private servers is that CPR has its own newspaper. A lot of private servers either don't even have their own newspaper or they follow the modern theme. 
It's really cool to see how CPR keeps their newspaper updated every single week with the latest events going around on the island. And better yet, CPR also updates the jokes, the riddles, and the poetry section with entries from actual users. So for example, these aren't just old answers, these are actual users who are currently on CPR and they submit these answers every single week, which I just think is super cool. And also guys, the EPF is built completely differently on CPR. If you want to become an agent on CPR, you actually have to pass the secret agent test. And if you guys don't know how to do that, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube. For example, you have to just throw a snowball at this thing over here, run around, do a bunch of other tasks. But on your private servers, you will find that becoming an agent is a lot easier. You simply walk into the everyday phoning facility, the phone booth rings, you get your phone, and that's about it. In my opinion, that's a little bit less fun than actually doing the cool agent test. And also, we have some key differences with igloos. On newer private servers, you are able to access your backyard, and there are some different igloos available with a more modern feel. But if you want that classical penguin feel, then CPR is the place for you. Its igloo catalog is filled with a bunch of custom furniture. For example, these pastel furniture items, these were never out on the original Club Penguin. These are original items that the CPR team made by itself, which is just crazy. And then also, you just have a bunch of cool classic CP furniture items here, and you have a lot of variety in the type of igloos that you can end up buying. So now some features that CPR doesn't have is that on CPR you are not able to hide your penguins or hide your names but to be honest I don't think that's too big of a deal and also I think the most important factor that I find is that Club Penguin Rewritten is a lot faster than most private servers. The rooms load up super quickly you can literally fly through your postcards and it's very easy to interact with people and this actually makes it amazing for me on the live streams because I'm able to play a lot more mini games with you guys with less lag and it's just a lot more fun that way. And another difference is that on CPR you don't have leaderboards for sled racing or for fine form and the other small mini games across the island but i believe there is a leaderboard for kart surfer if i'm not mistaken and there we go yep there is a leaderboard which is pretty awesome and as you can see the leaderboard resets every sunday at 12 a.m pst so you guys always have a fair shot of getting onto the leaderboard every single week and i also think you get a special pin if you successfully get onto the leaderboard but kart surfer is a pretty tricky and competitive game so good luck guys if you end up making it let me know because that is super impressive now another difference is that when it comes to your buddies you are aren't able to search just random people on the island, you actually have to meet them on the island to have a chance to add them. This search bar over here unfortunately is just for your existing buddy list, it doesn't search people across the entire game. But something that CPR has that most servers don't have is a grey puffle. If you want the grey puffle, you come to the pet shop, you walk over to this bin over here of puffles, scroll through the pages, and the grey puffle is all the way at the end over here for 800 coins. And the coolest part is once you get your grey puffle, you can get 20 of your buddies, head over to the dojo, walk inside, and then access the Serene Springs. The way you do that is you walk over to this hidden door over here in the dojo, and that will bring you to this room, and then you come over here to the right, and then you will access the pathway. You go all the way through the pathway, and then once you do that, go ahead and follow this arrow, and that will bring you to the Serene Springs. And if you have 20 penguins here with your grey puffles, you guys will end up getting a stamp. And also, I just think all of these animations are super cool, because the CPR team actually made those in-house, those are custom animations, the Grey Puffle was never actually a thing on the original Club Penguin. And there's also this custom comic about the Grey Puffle, which I just think is amazing. It really adds a custom twist to the game. And another super cool aspect of Club Penguin you written is that they have both the PSA and the EPF. The EPF is more of the modern agency, whereas the PSA is the classic original Penguin agency that was available on the island. Now guys, the best part is you can become an agent for both. If you want to become a PSA agent, you simply click on the moderator badge, you click on the chat bubbles here, and then fill out this quiz. If you guys want to know the quiz answers, I have a separate video about that. And as I said before, if you want to become an EPF agent, you simply walk in, take the test, and if you pass the test, you will then get the EPF phone. But I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen the EPF headquarters, so let me go ahead and show you how the PSA looks. This is the very, very first original agent headquarters that was on Club Penguin. And also, if you click on any of these television screens, you can also teleport to the corresponding room. There's a blank screen right there. Will that be a room in the future? Who knows? If it is, that would be super cool. Okay guys, so I'm currently recording a video and I just ran into Andrew Hazard on the island. So shout out to Andrew Hazard for being here, for watching my videos. Thank you so much for the support. And back to the video, guys. And also, once you are a PSA agent, you can also click on the top secret panel over here. This will open up all the classic PSA missions that were once on Club Penguin. There are 11 total missions. Click through all of them. All of these missions are super fun, super interactive. So go ahead, give them a try, guys. This is something you will not find on most private servers out nowadays. 
And additionally, the PSA comes with the classic The Fish Catalog. If you open this up, there are a few secret items. Let's scroll through. Once you are here, click on this penguin's glasses, and that will get you the night vision goggles for 1,000 coins. Pretty expensive, but also a really cool item. And guys, one more difference is that on CPR, you have the classic dance club. Now, what does this mean? It means that if you get enough penguins to turn a certain color, the lights in the dance club change. Okay, guys, another shout out to Yigal Shlamey for tuning into this video. Thank you so much for also supporting me. It means a ton to me. Okay, guys, and with that, that wraps up this video on the key differences between CPR and most modern private servers, including Club Penguin Online. Guys, if there are any other differences that I didn't really cover, let me know in the comments below.